welcome to our programming channel today in c sharp we will see number pattern in the shape of right angle triangle we will see this kind of number pattern and this kind of number pattern this is first number pattern and these are rows this is first row this is second row this is third row this is fourth row this is fifth row and these are columns this is first column this is second column this is third column this is fourth column this is fifth column row starts from 1 and increments till 5 so in outer for loop or for loop of rows row is equal to 1 row plus plus similarly column starts from 1 and increments till 5 so in inner for loop or for loop of columns call is equal to 1 call plus plus rows starts from 1 and increments till 5 so in outer for loop condition will be row less than or equal to 5 and if the rows are according to user input then condition will be row less than or equal to number of rows in example we will give the variable name no of rows so here row less than or equal to no of rows here when row is 1 one column is printed when row is 2 two columns are printed when row is 3 three columns are printed when row is 4 four columns are printed when row is 5 five columns are printed so printing of number of columns depends on number of rows so the condition in inner for loop or for loop of columns will be called less than or equal to row on first row one is printed one time on second row two is printed two times on third row three is printed three times on fourth row 4 is printed 4 times on 5th row 5 is printed 5 times so here number printed is the number of row so while printing we will write console dot write in bracket row in second pattern all the logic will be same on first row 1 is printed on second row 1 and 2 is printed on third row 1 2 3 is printed on fourth row 1 2 3 4 is printed on fifth row 1 2 3 4 5 is printed so here we can see column numbers are printed so for this pattern we will write console dot write in bracket call
we have taken two integer variables row and column First for loop is for rows. Row starts with one, and and we want to increment the row till five, or we want five rows. So row is equal to one, row less than or equal to five, row plus plus. This for loop is for columns. Column start from one and increments according to row. So call is equal to one call less than or equal to row call plus plus. In first pattern, when row is 1, we have printed 1, when row is 2, we have printed 2, so we have printed the row, so console.write in bracket row, we need one space, so here we have given space. And for next line, we have taken console dot right line. And console dot read line. First time row is one here and 1 is less than or equal to 5 condition satisfied so here control has entered in inner for loop now call is equal to 1 call is 1 and 1 is less than or equal to 1 condition is satisfied so so Console dot write row row is one so one is printed then call is incremented now call is two row is one so now the control has came out from the inner for loop and console dot write because of this line is changed. Now row is 1 and because of row plus plus row is incremented to 2. Now 2 less than or equal to 5. So control has came into the inner for loop. First call is equal to 1. 1 less than or equal to 2. then console dot write row because of this line 2 is printed again now call incremented and call is equal to 2 now so 2 less than or equal to 2 so again 2 is printed now call incremented to 3 so 3 
less than or equal to 2 condition becomes false here now because of this line is changed again here row will increment like this till 5 all the rows will be printed in second pattern these all things means variables and both the for loops will be same only we need to print columns so call here and if we run the program we get the output 1 1 2 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 in this way we get the output of second pattern in case of second pattern first row is 1 then 1 is less than or equal to 5 then call is equal to 1 1 less than or equal to 1 then call is 1 1 is printed then call increment by 1 so here 2 less than or equal to condition is false now line will change here now we'll increment by 1 so now row is 2 2 less than or equal to 5 condition satisfies so so control has entered here now 1 less than or equal to 2 so now call is call is equal to 1 so so 1 will print here now 1 is printed then call call is incremented and becomes 2 now 2 less than or equal to 2 condition is true here so now call is 2 so 2 will print here now 2 is printed here now call will increment with 1 call becomes 3 now 3 less than or equal to 2 condition is false control has came outside and line will change so in this way all the rows will print and we will get the output of second pattern here we can print only 5 rows if we want to print any number of rows so for that now we have taken integer variable number of rows We have displayed the message with console.write enter number of rows. we have stored the input or number of rows in this number of rows variable and the variable is integer variable
so convert to in 32 we want one empty line so console dot write line space and here instead of five number of number of rows and if we run the program if we enter five rows we get five rows if we enter four rows then we get this result till four rows we want the rows according to user input so all these things are similar only we need to change here call instead of row in second pattern and if we run the program number of rows 4 then we get the second pattern having 4 rows number of rows 7 and second pattern having rows 7 That's all for today's number patterns in the shape of right angle triangle in C sharp. In our channel, there are regular uploads of programming related videos. So for latest updates, please subscribe the channel and like and share videos. Thanks for watching.